What's up, everybody? It's your main man, Yahi, back again with another video and breakdown. It's about that time, family. It's about that time. War is in the air. Those who love war are beginning to mount. It appears they're going to mount against one another. But let me tell you, that's delusion. That's delusion. Even though it's going to happen, there's a bigger war behind the scene. It's for your gene pool. As I always mentioned, the nuclear gene pool of the Israelites and the chosen Gentile that will survive. But it's ushered in by the Negro Israelite Bantu woman. The X symbolism in Wakanda, the double X chromosome of a Negro woman. The nuclear war is against her because if you cut off a woman, you cut off a nation. And that's why Yahuwah refers to his nation as his woman. A woman is a weapon. A good woman goes a long way. And as they say where I'm from, always use your woman to sneak your gun in the club. See, God hid his ex-weapon in his woman. That's what the movie Wakanda Forever was about. Check this out. Revelation 18 and 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Yahuwah promised that he would judge Babylon, the second Babylon, in one hour. Well, let me tell you something. Putin is going to do a favor for the great creator. He said he's going to knock it out in less than 14 minutes. He has what they call the Satan 2. And it can go up to 16,000 miles per hour. Has 15 nuclear warheads. Let me tell you something. I know a little bit about war and America's budget ain't ready to go to war with two world powers, let alone one, Russia, China. Come on, somebody. We ain't ready for this. Americans ain't thinking about war. They're thinking about entertainment. Check this out. Revelation 18, 17. For one hour, so great riches is come to naught. It's not important anymore. For every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as traded by sea stood off afar or afar off. My God, look at that missile. Look at the range, the warheads, the Satan too. It can wipe out Texas and he has multiple Satans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and everybody else got their own version of Satan. Yo is coming to renew Israel's radiation covenant beginning with the firstborn King David. God uses his glory, radiation, to bless the righteous while punishing the wicked. He doesn't change. A solar maximum, radiation is beginning to peak while nations are preparing for a nuclear World War III. I come to send fire, radiation, on the earth. And what, why, what will I have already be kindled? What he's saying is, I'm coming to tear it up. I'm coming to tear it up. And by the time I get there, it's going to be tore up already. I mean business. I got to recompense with the wicked of the earth. Check this out. Genesis 6.3. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for he also is flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. Notice what happens when God pours out his spirit once again on Israel. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that has not filled his days. For the child shall die 100 years, but the sinner shall perish when he's 100 years. Okay, that's what he's saying. So my thing is, radiation has always been the focus of Israel. We are a light to the world. We are radioactive people. The covenant blessing is inside your DNA or book of life. It's activated by radiation. Neither shall they say, see here, see there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God will pour my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters will prophesy. Okay, I want you to look at this verse. I'll hear a lot of brothers saying sisters can't prophesy. Well, what the hell did God say? Stop listening to man. Stop listening to the laws of Moses. Listen to the order of Melchizedek. The great creator gave Bantu Israel radioactive prophets, watchmen, to keep watch concerning the arrival of the new covenant. This further proves that Yahuwah never fully broke his covenant with Israel. If he did, there would be no radioactive watchmen left in Israel. That destroys Christianity. In, in order to have prophets, you literally need to be a radioactive nation, a radiation nation. But peace to the scattered tribes and the chosen Gentiles. Okay? I'm order. I should have put in order. I apologize. I was rushing. Israel's watchmen are radioactive. Real prophets are radioactive. Sanctified equals set apart. Holy. Okay? Or radioactive. Ruach HaKodash equals program radiation. Okay? Don't take the mark of the beast because it blocks your blessing. Holy Spirit is cosmic radiation. Cosmic rays activates and heals bond to Elohim DNA. It proves Israelites via baptism by fire, okay? 
if you can't absorb it, it will destroy you. The first black Adam was made a man to usher in the age of humanity. All right, the first DNA hybrid. The second black Adam will be made a God to usher in the age of God. Second DNA hybrid. Adam equals master copy or master template. All right, and so it's written. The first Adam was made a man, a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Now we're going back to being radioactive creatures in the twinkling of an eye. We're radioactive again. We become like gods. Now we can stand in his presence. All right. The Bantu's Bible was never meant to be an eternal book. The Bible's purpose was to be a cultural placeholder. Once the Bantu tribes already received their radioactive covenant and become Elohim, there's no need to, 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 to work from a book. Wisdom of Solomon 2.23. For God created man to be immortal and made him an image of his own eternity. Jeremiah 31.34. And they shall say, they shall say, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord for they all, for sh they shall all know me from the least unto the greatest of them. Okay. So we're going to put that book up and go back to being intimate with our father. And this was his initial plan. All right. The reason I don't preach color or race or this old Hebrew Israelite off doctrine, got some good brothers, but I don't really follow that doctrine. The Bantu tribes alone with their watchmen are scattered to every nation. It's virtually impossible to distinguish Israelite from Gentile just by looking at a skin color. It's a test from Yahuwah to make sure those who know their lineage speak peaceful words to the stranger because you don't know who your brother is. It's brothers in every nation in the Middle East to the Americas, to Alaska, to the South Pole, everywhere. God only makes lesser gods or lesser creators. Psalm 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all you are the children of the Most High. Yeshua answered them, answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. So when you absorb that radiation, you're a literal God. And we come in many colors. I kid you not, I got cousins whiter than white people. Okay? How do we make lesser gods? Through sex. That was a blessing. As I told you, the order Melchizedek clones. God made sex a commandment because it merely is an intimate math equation. It produces more math, more of his sacred geometry. Come on, somebody. Your technology is humans, the first self-replicating robots. All right, so God likes to see sex because he's a math freak. All right, the first 30 minutes of the video is about radiation covenant. Why is Killmonger so angry? Wakanda forever nuclear war against Negro woman's womb. The second half of the video is war prophecy decoded. I know a lot of you wanted more war prophecy, so I got that. Just skim through the video. Comic book decodes, super Bantus, show you how all the comic books are based on the Israelites, Bantus and stuff like that, with no doubt. All right, and it's also King David, the Joker, and King David is God's man of sin. There are multiple mans of sin because God deals in duality. He always makes two copies. Clone. Duh. All right. So he's a man of sin and he works for God. He's the garbage man. A quick overview. Why is Killmonger so angry? Because Killmonger is the true blood king of Wakanda, not T'Challa. In some scenes, T'Challa represents the agenda of the new black nobility, the new Europeans. Killmonger was a human hybrid technology of two royal families, the wolf and the serpent. All right. The wolf and the serpent. All right. So let's look at Killmonger's life. Let's see why he was so angry all the time. All right. Eric Killmonger. What does Eric mean? Eric is typically masculine, a masculine name that means forever ruler or always ruler. It's an old Norse name derived from the Norse word. Is it Eric? I'm going to have to say Erky, <laughs> which means sole ruler or ever powerful. So he's an eternal king. All right. Eric. Eric. Okay, learn something new every day. Second Samuel 7 and 16. And thine house and thine kingdom shall be established forever. Before thee, thy throne shall be established forever. And David, my servant, shall be king over them. And they shall have one shepherd, and they shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. So David will go be an eternal priest and an eternal prince in the kingdom of heaven. Even though he's named King David, he'll be prince under Yeshua. Okay, and that's who Killmonger is. He's the garbage man. All right? Eric was the true blue King David Cohen heir. He had God's law written in his mouth. Malachi 2 and 7. For the priest's lips should keep thy law and they should and they should seek the law of his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord's host. Killmonger was Mary's grail. The Magdalene Holy Grail or the Fibonacci 1.618 Holy Grail. God's judgment to mankind is the Fibonacci. King David's heir. Okay. King David is 
has two royal bloodlines. All right? Check it out. Blue lip tattoo. All right? He was King David. He was King David. Magdalene, what? Rose line. A blue lip tattoo. Fibonacci Holy Grail. 1618. David. All right? A blue lip tattoo. David. Air. Okay? Blue David. The Jaguar. Tattoo. So I'm showing you how movies are coded behind the Bible. We don't have to guess. He's sitting on a throne with Hebrew script. That's Paleo-Hebrew because he's a jaguar. He represents David being amongst the natives. David is a Latin king. David is a Latin king. He's from Ephraim or represents Ephraim, should I say. Eric Killmonger is also the true purple boy, the Denver Jaguar Prince, the purple boy. All right. He is secret holy grail. He is secret holy grail. The purple boy. The purple prince, the birthright heir. This boy is the birthright heir of Israel. Okay? He's amongst the northern kingdom. The purple boy, the phoenix boy king. He is the secret holy grail. He is the birthright heir, the king of Israel. He exists. Messiah David is looking up. He's the purple prince. He's looking at who? Christ. He's looking at Christ. Okay? Purple black boy mystery. Who is that purple black boy? The Last Supper Holy Grail is him. He's the secret Holy Grail. But I saw Holy Grail and I saw funny poses. And I'm like, I could put two and two together. I read a little bit. I know a little bit of something. I said, all he's missing is his sword or his act of X. It's the X and the cross. The true good, the good guys. All right. He's a Mexican Jacques de Molay. Authentic royal blood. He's the son of Demolé. He's a grail protector. All right? The good guys who got the bad rap. He's the Mexican version. Mexican jab. He's Adam David. Wrath of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Well, guess what? Jesus loved Mary. Holy family of Jesus. X marks the spot. That's the Jaguar boy. All right? He has the X and the Y chromosome. You see the Y inside the box? He's the Holy Grail. He has the two he needs to be king. Israel's radioactive bloodline is the true Holy Grail, the purple boy. Now the Chala is on the side of the Israelites. You play multiple roles. Holy Grail is not real. It's not real. No, 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 it's not real. This guy is the Holy Grail. He's the Phoenix boy king, the purple. He's the secret Holy Grail. Everything else is hype. All right, the rising of the Holy Royal Phoenix, the Royal Phoenix king. Is that black boy right there. Come on, somebody. That's why we use Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. It shows you the holy guardian, the protector, crown, the new king. Zionist, no. Wakanda forever. Louvre. Da Vinci Code symbolisms. Now, I was wondering why this was on front of Wakanda forever's uh, poster. I'm like, that looks just like da Vinci Code. I said, okay, well, let's put the two and two together, which is what you should do when movies look alike in picture. Bow down, Tom. Wakanda forever. Angela Bassett, king of Israel. Just like that. Because uh, Killmonger represents David. Wakanda forever. The Bantu womb, Mary got pregnant. Uh-oh. Angela comes out to David. An angel comes out to David. Mary's grill. Uh-oh. Kneel to the Holy Grail King because that's what he's doing. Holy Grail is this guy, superior bloodline of God. And that represents what? The 144 and all of Israel collectively. The super bloodline of God. We're going to get supernatural aid. It's inevitable. Now that's why the war is kicking off. Your, your help is coming, Israel. Mary's Grail. Mary and Jesus. This boy matches both numerically. It could be symbolic. Now you line the names up. Can you find out the real hidden truth? My wife. Mary, Mary and Jesus' truth is that black boy in a purple hat. Mary Magdalene, Jesus Christ had a baby. We think it's that boy he's descended of, or it can be symbolic. Yahweh's you always, you always lost son, David. You King David, boy. The puzzle of the Da Vinci Code Prince is that boy right there in the purple. That Mexican, black, Latino. Who shot the movie? Who directed it? Ron Howard. The Holy Grail is that boy. So come on, somebody. We know that Killmonger represents the native Israelites, the ex-gene, but so did Namor. And that's why you love both of them. You got to put them together. It's a puzzle. 
It's a puzzle. They're the same character. They represent the Antichrist David or the anti-Antichrist David. David was designed to go against the bad guy. How do you make a, a fighting dog fight? You got to beat him up a bit. The age of Aquarius King David, the spirit of destiny. Come on, somebody. You know who, who had it. It was in the movie, the age of Aquarius. You see, when you pay attention to the actors, you, you forget the message they're trying to show you and fool you out of knowing. Grill bloodline, king of Israel, spirit of destiny is the Latino heir, the radiation sun. That's how you tell who David is. You follow the radiation. And did you see the 666? Blue, yellow goes right down to green and gold. It's the black King David. He's the black Latino. That's an Illuminati symbol. But Illuminati is a house of royal blood. Okay? That's what you don't know. That's what you don't know. Birthright king of Israel is the Phoenix coin king. The Magdalene Illuminati king. I said Magdalene. You telling me Illuminati go back to Christ? Real holy grail is the lost Prince David. The lost black grail. Denver airport Jaguar. I am the rising Phoenix. The order of the Phoenix, which is the real Illuminati, is the order of Melchizedek. Purple boy, 10 Phoenix, the Latino king. He's a Latin king. The Mexican Jaguar is the prophesied child. All right, and that's why you saw the scenes with Namor as a kid. Jaguars don't come from Africa. I mean, we all come from Africa, but you know what I'm saying. Your destiny is King David. You're the royal black Phoenix heir. 10 Phoenix, Chicago, David. He's the golden boy. Look at those funny ears. I mean, what does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. Almighty Latin King David. The secret of the Holy Grail. The lost black prince looking up. Radiation God confirmed. Latin Phoenix King. Magdalene Holy Grail. Messiah son of David. Wow. The Latin Phoenix King. Mm. Lost black purple prince is Dawid. King David. The lost Latin child prince. You see, he's a Latin Negro. The black Prince, the lost Latin child, King David, Mother Mary, Spirit of the Lord, Phoenix Apkalu. Is the Bantu woman a goddess? Is the Bantu woman radioactive? I'm not taking back my words. Without radiation, there is no Elohim. There's no prophet. Power of radiation was over given to Israel, was only given to Israel, symbolized by the priest's chest plates. Biblical saviors, prophets, and Israel's watchmen descend from a nuclear bloodline, Isaac C. Okay, we're going to be saved, saved by the seed of Isaac, not Abraham. Because one thing us, a lot of people like to see in Christianity, we're all God's children. We're, there's no tribes of Israel. That's BS. If there's no tribes, there's no Isaac. By the seeds of Isaac, by the nuclear bloodline, we'll be saved. Because as you can see, the order of Melchizedek gave the uh, understanding of radiation to Israel via their woman. And that's why the, uh, the women were rainbow on Wakanda. God made it simple for us to understand. Receive radiation, Rock Dash, while activating your penile gland. A lot of people ask me about this. Rock Dash, gamma radiation, also known as Holy Ghost, the breath of life, fresh water, etc. Drink plenty of water and focus on breathing techniques, meditation. A lot of sisters taught me this. Also eat vegetables and consume supplements from plants that resemble your penile gland's shape. It's simple. Example, pineapples and pine cone powder are excellent for your penile gland. God made it simple. You can overthink it. Like the law of Moses, you overthinking God. Keep it simple like the order of Melchizedek. Use rhythm, rhyme, and spirit. Look how the pine cone powder looks like the pineapple. And guess what? They're both good for what? The penile gland. Read it for yourself. Okay? God speaks through the number, shapes, colors, symbolism, sounds. God is so simple, man. We make them complicated. All right? As they say, it's science, not religion. Science of numbers. Now, let's... Uh, use our radioactive X chromosomes that we got from our moms for the sake of decoding some prophecies. Let's get down to business. Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warriors will confuse noise. All right? But this, this battle here is going to be a different. It's going to be with the burning and fuel of fire. Okay? So it's going to be a little different. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails are like unto serpents and their heads... And with them, they do hurt. You see, missiles flying look like snakes. I put this in the last video, but you guys liked it so much. I'll show you again a lot of other, other stuff. All right, Ezekiel 21 and 5. That all flesh may though that know that I, I and the Lord have drawn forth my sword out of the sheep, and it shall not return. Once a missile goes out, it doesn't go back in. Okay, understand the terminology. 
All right. Jeremiah 50 and 14. Put yourselves in rig against Babylon around about all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. So when you sin against Israel and the righteous Gentile, you sin, you sin against the Lord. Isaiah 34 and 4. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together the scroll. And all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth off the uh, vine. Okay? And it's comparing it to a fig, but you see the nature of it, the symbolism. Isaiah 34 and 4. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be like a scroll. All right, I'm showing you a different angle. It's the same verse, just a different way of viewing it. So a lot of people get confused. And they, they don't know how to translate prophecy. But let me tell you, there's no other book like the Bible. All right, Job 18 and th 13. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. All right, the firstborn of death is the radioactive angel. Come on, somebody. That's David. <laughs> his firstborn. Psalm 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when they see the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that man shall say, Verily, there's a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judges the earth. Revelation 18, 19, 20. And they cast dust on their head and cry, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For one hour she is made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven and thy holy apostles and prophets. For God has avenged on her. So God has taken a, a recompense on our oppressors. And he's called them wicked. We don't just like to see good people go. We like to see the wicked punished because it, it, that's cosmic balance. All right, Jeremiah 51 and 52. Wherefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will do judgment upon her graven images and through all her land with the wound that shall groan. So your religion ain't no savior is what he's saying. All those sexy pictures of, uh, 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 of Tom Jesus... Okay, as I aforementioned, World War III began around the time of the global radiation surge in 2022. The Son of God returns when he is signaled by the Son that God created. God is pouring out his Holy Spirit radioactive covenant during Earth's solar uh, maximum, beginning with David, uh, the Denver uh, airport mural. He is authenticating his chosen royal heirs, 2nd Ezra 16 and 73. All right, got a few full pauses in here, but I was moving. All right, now check it out. Authentic royal bloodline. Radiation surge in 2022. Israel is above all nations. Goes right down to the purple prince. Authentic royal bloodline. Look how that goes down through gamma radiation covenant. Year 2022. True King David of Israel. Global radiation surge. Authentic royal bloodline. The rainbow is radiation. As I told you. The radioactive covenant. X gene purple prince. Messiah David is looking up. Black Jews absorb radiation. Israelite radiation gods. Come on somebody. God punishes the wicked with his presence and glory. Radiation is the brightness of his coming. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 9. Who shall be punished with the everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power? Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord has consumed with the spirit of his mouth and destroyed the brightness of his coming. Also read Habakkuk chapter 3, uh, the UFO arrivals. Okay, so God going to use radiation from every angle. In nature, through weapons, through his people. All right? And Israel terraforms the planet as we walk. In our captivities, we were changing the planet. Holy Ghost radiation, Apocalypse, USA, Sodom. Come on, somebody. Radiation, Spirit of God. God destroys Sodom. The Holy Grail will be there. King David's lost air will be there. Destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Russian President Putin, the Ark of the Covenant. Radiation oil covenant. That's his holy oil. All right. The nations are working together to create a smoke screen. The names may change, but prophecies remain the same. Psalm 83, 1 through 8. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, consult against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacle of Edom, the Ishmaelites, Moab, Hagarines, Gabal, Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines, the <coughs> inhabitants of Tyre. They all coming at us. You ain't got no friends, Israel and the righteous Gentile. The American president, Joseph R. Uh, Biden. Remember Judgment Day. Destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. All will burn. Joseph Biden. Israel radiation gods. Bond to Israelite gene. Israel's true king. We coming for him. He's the watchman. Does the book of Exodus have the hidden key to everlasting immunity? Now, check this out. This goes back to the war. Watch this. This is what they're looking for. All right? They'll fake like they don't like each other just to get at your ass. Discover why some scientists believe the biblical breakthrough could be the holy grail of health. 
longevity, longevity. God uses radioactive electrical wires, uh, wireless charging on his prophets. Who did it first? God did. Exodus 3 and 5, and he said, draw nigh uh, hither, put off thy shoes and thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. And the Lord said to Moses, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be a prophet. Radiation makes you a God. If the black woman, Latino, Mexican woman has radiation in her body, she's a woman. Ain't no debate, man. She's a woman of God. She's a, she's a goddess. Yahuwah speaks through the number in the books of Exodus, Israel experienced those things. You write down the book of Exodus, your inheritance. You were made radioactive Negroes and you were witnesses to his glory. The book of Exodus, radioactive Negroes, Israelite prince, Holy Grail, Davidic bloodline, the archangel of death, the savior to the people, the eyes of the Lord upon all their ways, Proverbs 15, 3. So we know what movie they're going to make. The nation wants Israel's radioactive blood and penal glands. The politicians are agenda markers. Holy Grail blood agenda. They don't hate each other. They need each other. They hate your black ass, your brown ass, your native ass. But God keep watchmen and our bodies respond to radiation. So we know what's up. You fool me once. Hmm? With your MK Ultra agents. Come on, somebody. Joseph Biden Jr. Holy Grail is this boy. Holy Grail. Russian President Putin. I ain't got to lie. When the radiation rise, a.k.a. the fiends rise, it's time to bring the radiation blocking currency. Come on, somebody. At least must first create an illusion of chaos, war, after its peace and safety via computerized monitoring device. If you can't track all the radiation gods, just force everyone to take the mark. Revelation 13 to 16. He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in the right hand and on their foreheads. And like I told you before, the forehead symbolizes the penal gland. The order of Melchizedek speaks through man through his celestial gland, which is the penal gland. One sister said the devil's come through the penal gland. Huh? Why the hell did God give you one then, Dodo? Ten Phoenix rising. The purple coin gene collapsed the U.S. dollar. Secret of the Holy Grail. It's that simple, man. Cash the society is because of the Holy Radiation Oil. Activate DNA. The blood on Holy Grail and Mashiach been days. Return of Christ is upon us. That's why we're here. Inevitable. The Melchizedek, the Melchizedek Radiation Phoenix Priesthood taught man how to communicate to Yahuwah uh, via... Yahweh, I knew via constellations and math, okay? So when you look at the symbolism, it goes back to Samaria and civilizations before then, when gods walked the earth with mankind, okay? But look at how the priest in Israel look just like the cherub and the seraphim. Look how all the garments are just radioactive garments, man. All right, we're a radioactive nation, as I like to say, radiation nation, because we are. Radiation cures everything. All darkness shall be hid in secret places. A fire not blown shall consume it. It shall go ill with him that is left in the tabernacle. Fire not blown. Cosmic radiation. Radiation is a Negro woman. See, the rainbow bride is the Negro woman. It's the Negro woman. All right? The secret son, the black phoenix, is the secret son, David, but it's also the Negro woman. So they both phoenixes. Ain't no David without the rainbow bride. All right? It's the, it's the Bantu Negro woman that hid the, the um, man child. Psalm 110 and 4, the Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. If you want to find the real King David, look for radiation, electricity, and magnetism. Because that's what the gods deal with. Radiation, electricity, and magnetism. If you write it down, you get holy bloodline, holy girls, this boy. He's the new king. He's the purple prince. I'm showing you truth, people. He's magnetic. I told you Christ, Yahuwah, Yeshua was a seraphim. Look at the wings, the horns, the hands. All right, Magneto, Messiah, Nuclear, Yeshua. Magneto is Yeshua. All right, this ain't up for discussion. That's what it is. And I told you that as a picture of Michael. Duh, Hollywood knows. That's Michael. He's the king of Melchizedek. That's Michael, the Black Panther. Remember I told you, T'Challa doubles as two different characters, the Black Nobility and the Black Christ. And that's why the ship uh, that he went up in Okay, when he died, looks just like the ship on the crucifixion of Jesus. Blood of Lamb, the Immortal Panthers, the Jaguar, the Bantu Radiation Phoenix, the Lost Y Holy Grail. All right, the real Holy Grail, the uh, the Y of King David, but it's also the Bantu woman's bloodline. Attack the soft of the Elohim, close the portal of the gods, the Bantu woman's womb. Notice all the Wakanda's forever posters are highlighting the Negro woman's womb. Notice that. Notice that. 
They coming for your woman. And who's God's woman? The nation. The 144. All right, look at that. The portal symbolism, man. I told you the middle of the portal represents the woman. Listen, the na native Negro Bantu Israelite woman is the portal of the gods. She is also a member of the Phoenix Priesthood. Economist Magazine, which is New World Order Agenda. Radioactive Black Womb. That's what they want. Economist Magazine, Divine Anunnaki King, which is just another name for the Order of Melchizedek. The history that it just got messed up. It's not even proper history on the subject topics. It pitches worth a thousand words, but the devil's in the detail, the demo murals. So when you're looking at a lot of these uh, stars and actors posing like they, you know, down for just a good time and doing a good movie, it's bullshit. They're in the middle of a psyop. Okay, in the middle of an MK Ultra experiment, which is just a test. You know, see the sister? The phoenix in the box. He's inside the box. He's inside the Fibonacci box. She's the key. See across the arms like the Wakanda poster. She has a key on her vagina. Like the girl in the dress from Wakanda. Look at all the pictures, man. It's about the black woman's womb. You see the, um, the top right corner, the guy coming out her vagina. The doorway is the Negro woman. Mary's belly. Mary Phoenix Jean. The radiation god holds the hidden man child, which is the black King David. Okay. Everyone wanted some vibranium metal, a.k.a. Negro woman's radioactive DNA. Vibranium metal, nuclear people, king of Israel, hidden man child, Negro woman. That's just code for Negro woman. God's nuclear weapons or nuclear swords are the Bantu woman, the 144,000 King David. Whenever you say King David, you're literally saying 144,000. They one and the same. The macro is the micro. The micro is the macro. So I don't speak on 144 a lot because it's all the same thing as David. Nuclear wrath comes from the Bantu womb. Come on, somebody. I ain't got a lie. The Bantu woman, radiation woman, is the Phoenix woman, the Jaguar woman. Now you know why Shuri was dressed like a Jaguar. The Bantu womb, the boy king, the vicar of the son of God. When this boy pop up, when he start talking, know that Christ is nearby. It's time to go to hell underground. There's only one group of women on the planet with nuclear X genes. Chromosome used to birth radioactive gods. Because of Bantu Israelite woman's DNA, we can literally live forever. Henrietta Lacks. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. That's why the sisters was on there. Sisters been holding us down when we won a nation. The Bantu woman, the 10X. X is just 10. The Holy Spirit is radiation. Nuclear war with Israel. Come on, somebody. Write it again. The gamma radiation. Where's the X on storm? On her womb. She's the ex carrier. Magdalene Rose line, blood of Christ. Uh oh. Somebody had kids. That's going to destroy your religion. Without the Magdalene ex Rose line, there's no purple King David to be a watchman for the rising radiation. Without a Christ bloodline, there is no David. King David's purple air. Oh, ra the radiation is rising. Come on, somebody. The purple prince comes from the radioactive black womb via the Christ bloodline. The first Adam didn't have a daddy and a mama. God don't change. Black radiation womb, the Ark of the Cub, and the Holy Grail is the purple prince. Bloodline of Christ. The black radioactive womb. The Christ bloodline is just a result of Mary and Princess or Prince Michael's human nature. The Christ bloodline is just a result of Mary and come on, somebody. Nuclear black queen. God's Illuminati. Christ bloodline. It's just human nature. This is, is going to allow us to get the firstborn from the dead. All psyops are numerically, numerically connected. The firstborn of the dead is chosen by Michael and the Holy Spirit. The firstborn of, of the dead is chosen. That's D David, right? Wakanda forever. Avatar, the way of the water. Same shit. Excuse my language. Chosen by the Holy Spirit, divine spouse, spouse Pentecost. Baptized in Jesus. If you want to be starting something. Come on, son. Come on, nuclear black queen, X day, dead reckoning. I'm the Phoenix Christ bloodline. Come on, somebody. Come on. What does what does what does what do the movies Black Panther and Wakanda Forever have to do with the Bible? Answer: The movies are based on the Bible, directed directed by fallen angels. A few faux pause. I apologize. Mary Magdalene might be buried under the Louvre in the book. Brown alleges that the remains of Mary Magdalene are located under the pyramid. Okay, lack of, you know, in so many words. Dakota, India, Wakanda Park, Mounds, in Wisconsin. All right, that's Wakanda, but it goes down to mean something possession, possessing magna, magical powers. 
So all the X's on the sister's uh, stomachs and chest, you see the, the little sign right there has X's all over it. They're letting you know, sisters, you are Wakanda. You are magical. How in the hell are you going to create a God without a God? That's why I don't argue with brothers. Wakanda forever. Mary's son is this guy. Yahweh's secret King David. David's purple prince is Holy Grail bloodline. Chosen by the Holy Spirit. Mary's son is this guy. Mary's lost son. And Mary's son could be a symbolic phrase or it can be literal. I'll let you do your research. Wakanda forever. Mary's son down to this guy. Mary Magdalene is the bride. Of who? Who? And it goes down to arms crossed. Look at the big picture. What picture? The last supper love child. This guy's result of what? DNA merging. Black Panther. Radiation. Blood of the lamb. Maybe that's why he's posing like Jesus. Can you find the secret, young, the secret? Rolling Stones magazine. The young boy. Can you find the secret? The golden jaguar. Salvation of God come through Killmonger. It's harvest time, the phoenix. Down to Mary Magdalene. See, Killmonger's the garbage man. That's why everybody loved him. He's like the black Adam. Yahuwah's radiation covenant to his nation comes through the Israelite woman. Yahuwah's radiation covenant to the world comes through the Israelite nation. Gamma radiation covenant. Radioactive Christ child. All right, so I made these in the slides so you can read them. Gamma radiation covenant. Radiation bloodline king, key of David, extraterrestrial proof. Extraterrestrial proof? What are they talking about? Of a secret invasion? Oh, okay, I get it. More comic book hidden, 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 hidden messages. Okay, secret invasion. I know that green represents Negro and, and Bantu. I'm going to show you why I know it. I'll show you why I know it. Because green aliens comes out to Bantu Israelite. Be prepared. These niggas are getting radiation. Green aliens. Come on, somebody. Green aliens, Bantu Israelite, radiation prince, holy blood of Christ, sacred bloodline, Mary Magdalene. Somebody dropped the seed. Oh, I get it why they look alike now. The point is the Anunnaki looking, angelic looking, pearl around his neck like the Phoenix priesthood looking. Bantu Israelite, radiation prince. Come on, somebody. Come on. Why are they calling us aliens and all that? The planet was made for us. How am I alien? The double X Bantu woman gives birth to radiation gods that carry the 144 XY radioactive genes. The watchmen are the nuclear Israelites. Nuclear Israelite. Phoenix coin David. God's trumpet David. Conquerors. I be nervous too. Nuclear Israelite. Phoenix coin David. Phoenix king David. Conquerors. Again. Notice how we lining it up. Peace to the Gentiles. There is no kingdom of heaven without the Bantu Negro Israelite woman. She's the portal for the Ration gods. Bantu literally means people. And the kingdom and the man and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Whose kingdom is an everlasting. Whose kingdom is a radioactive kingdom. That la radiation lasts forever. Regenerates the kind we use. Now, why is there a nuclear symbol on that sister? Unless I'm just seeing things. I told you the wars with the black Woman, radioactive globe, magnetism, electricity. Uh oh. Magnetism, electricity. Uh oh. I'm down for my sisters. Radioactive globe, magnetism, electricity. Uh oh. Who you think those for? Uh oh. Purple rain. Who do you think the what is for? You know what I'm talking about. The daughters of Zion. That's who they for. The Bantu goddess. I am the trumpet. I am Gabriel. Bantu goddess. Mary Magdalene's lost son. Black boy, purple hat. He's a prince. I keep telling you, that could be a metaphor. It can be literal. You look it up. The radiation purple rain ushered in by purple prince David via the Israelite woman is going to be a painful judgment for the wicked. Denver Murals, lost purple prince. Tim Phoenix, purple boy. Come on, somebody. Purple rain, gamma radiation, painful punishment. The purple prince. Purple rain, gamma radiation, the lost black purple prince, Gemini bride David. He's the X. Look at the picture. King David's child. I'm a lost Holy Grail kid. The map is to find me. Let's take a quick dick do, uh, do tour. Let's take a quick de detour. All right, the purple rain prince, I up. All right, we know that Prince had a lot to do with the PSYOP. It was just one huge ceremony to just kind of draw you in off your own energy. You put his name down, it comes out the purple Prince David. He looks like Satan in the picture or Lucifer because they're not one and the same all the time. Decode Mary Magdalene, the purest blood of Christ. Justice. 
All right, so God is going to use Lucifer to bring justice against Israel's enemies. Israel's purple reign prince, the secret of the Holy Grail, lost son of Jesus Christ. The purple prince David, Holy Grail is a black man. The purple prince David. The purple prince David, the Holy Grail is a black man. Prince bride. Prince's bride. The prince's bride. You saw the movie? The purple prince David, the Holy Grail is a black man down to what? Gemini prince. Okay, I told you, um, they were twins. The child and Kilmar were actually twins in some scenes. Prince David, the purple coin prince, the purple prince David, Prince Rogers Nelson. It's going to be the same thing all the time. Remember, the purple boy is the phoenix. He's the phoenix. Phoenix is mean the radiation absorber. Or the rising Lucifer. Economist magazine, the phoenix prince purple boy, Tim Phoenix. All right, so we know the, the picture is connected to the magazine. goes down to God's twins. I just told you. The bride and groom of heaven, Messiah Dave looking up, the purple prince. Denver Airport, what? Supper. The purple boy is half angel Latin boy. He's the secret holy grail. Phoenix boy king, Rocco Dodge Radiation. The secret holy grail, almighty Latin king, lost prince David, the purple crown prince. Come on, man. Lost son of Jesus Christ. However you want to put it. All right, it's a bloodline thing. The Economist magazine is symbolic, a symb symbolic reminder of the war with the Bantu woman's womb and the coming man-child. David is the man-child, right? I just showed you. I'm going to show you again. David is the man-child. He comes through the womb, okay? X marks the spot. You see the X in the picture with the girl and the boy has the Y. The lost holy grail is the Y chromosome King David, the Cohen gene, the coin gene. Also known as what? The Cohen. Cohen, Cohen, Cohen. It's a cone you see the Phoenix Prince, living Holy Grail. The Black Magdalene Prince is the rightful heir to David. Now you think this, they want this shit getting out in the public? Jesus loved Mary. X marks the spot. <laughs> it's that simple. We know it's some sex because we got a bloodline. Jesus loved Mary. Jesus had kids. Tim Phoenix. Jesus had kids. The Economist. Blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. The Phoenix. Come on, somebody. Like, you got, eventually got to say Christ did have a penis. The Economist, blood of Christ, Christ's bloodline. The Economist. See, I just, it keeps re just going back and forth. The Economist magazine, prophesied king, X marks the spot, the divine child is the Phoenix king. He's from the line of Jesus. He's the rightful heir to David. And I keep telling you, it, 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 prophecy can be metaphorical. They don't necessarily have to be literal. All right? The Phoenix is the blood of Christ. This boy is the Holy Grail. All right, so the phoenix is the blood of Christ, is the young boy. The phoenix. The ten phoenix. Ten, ten phoenix. See the coin? He's the lost prince. It's that boy. <laughs> okay? Biblical words and phrases that represent radiation or something radioactive. So look at that list right there. A lot of people don't understand when the Bible is talking about radiation, but all you have to do is look at that list right there. All you have to do is look at that list right there. All right, that list is just phrases and words that represent radiation. And you read them a lot, you just didn't know how to apply them. Second Edges 16 and 73, they shall, then shall they, they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. All right? And it's the same way he's going to anoint David with his holy oil. You see what I'm saying? Radiation. He's going to refine you. He's going to, like, you go through a process, man. It's damn like chemotherapy when you absorb Holy Spirit. It's, it's radiation. So if your body's nasty, what, what happens to somebody be going to go chemotherapy without a clean body? That attacks you instead of helps you. Psalms 89, 20, I found David, my servant, my holy oil, have anointed him. God's oil activate the blood of the son of David. You see how that works? God speaks through the number. God's holy oil, Yeshua, Magdalene, holy grail, Fibonacci, holy oil, 1618, which represents judgments. David, Mary's grail. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yahuwah's radiation will not... Well, I put will twice because I'm crazy like that. Misspelled. Yahuwah's radiation will anoint the firstborn King David Y chromosome, the Holy Grail key. Also, I'll make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. So I was moving fast because I was like, man, you know what? I don't want to do a video. I'm tired, but you got to do what you got to do. God's firstborn, the lost Y, the radiation phoenix. All right? That Y is considered the key of David. It's shaped like a key. Everything the great creator does involves his glory. I put gorly or radiation. How deadly are the Van Halen radiation belts? Psalm 81, Psalm 81. Oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory radiation above the heavens. You see? The heavens declare the 
glory, radiation of God. All right? And the heavens shall proclaim his righteousness, his radiation. See, God is always talking about radiation. The Bible just puts it behind poetry. You get it? I love that Psalm 81. And King David's number is 81. I love that Psalm. You know, you, no matter how arrogant you get, man, you'll be humbled by God. Zechariah 13 and 9. I will bring a third part of them through the fire and refine them and say, refine and go over, try them and go over, try And they will call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people and they say, the Lord is my God. Malachi 3. And he shall sit as a refiner and purify of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord and offer offering of righteousness. You see, radiation makes you righteous. It makes you radioactive. You got to deal with radiation to deal with God. Isaiah 4 and 4. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the door of Zion and shall purge the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of his burning. Radiation. Ezekiel 36 and 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. All right. So that he's doing that right now. And a lot of people may have a lot of uh, friends that are passing away thinking it's just natural death, but that radiation will attack you. It's just like the radiation in Exodus, right, when he sent the Holy Spirit of death. Uh, Psalm 37 and 10, for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be, right? All right so he's going to remove them with war and with nature. All right, one way or another, the creator will punish the wicked with his radiation, all right? That all flesh may know that I, the Lord, have drawn forth my sword out of the sheath. It shall not return anymore. All right? That's prophecy. That's prophecy. Sword, sheath. All flesh may know I, the Lord, have drawn forth my sword out of the sheath. So I'm just showing you different angles of the same prophecy to give you an understanding visually. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Edomia and upon the people of my curse, the judgment. If Edom wasn't around, like most people say, he wouldn't have this prophecy. Prophecy is cyclical. It's a circle like the Fibonacci sequence. Isaiah 24, 19 to 20. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is cl uh, clean dissolved. The earth is removed exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. All right, so what he's showing you is the earth shaking from nuclear blast. All shall fi fall and not rise again, okay? So he's going to deal with transgressions. Check this one out, all right? And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together to scroll. You see, I'm showing you different angles of prophecy because it's a visual thing. You either understand it or you don't, all right? Everybody got their own gift. Jeremiah 50, 36 to 37, and swords against the soothsayers, and they will be fools, a swords against the, her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed, a swords against their horses, against their chairs, against the mixed peoples who are in her midst, and they will become like women, a swords against her treasures, and they will be robbed. So whoever Babylon is, a sword is against you. You understand what I'm saying? You will, you will be as fools, you're mixed people, which means you have mixed doctrine. You, you, anything goes, you know. Ezekiel 21 and 31. And I'll pour my indignation upon thee. I will blow, blow against thee in the fire of my wrath and deliver thee into uh, the hand of brutish men. And they will skill and skillful to, to destroy. Okay? So it's going to be some men walking around our neighborhoods that ain't going to give a damn about who we are. Isaiah 13, 3 to 7. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of the multitude in the mountains. Lack, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustered the host of battle. They come from a far country and from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. How ye, from the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come down upon um, Idumea, Babylon, Assyria, whatever you want to call it. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be a reminder, right? So I'm showing you old pictures from the last video. All right, who shall not be beaten to powder in his presence? A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. So I'm just showing you what it looks like. You know, the island next to a nuclear blast. All right, clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment and the habitation of the throne. All right, so you got lightning and stuff and all that during nuclear blasts. All right, the first angel blew his trumpet, and followed hail and fire. Right, the temple was filled with smoke of God's glory. Okay, the temple is the earth, people. <laughs> the temple is the earth. It's his footstool. 
Revelation 6 and 4, right? Which has many interpretations depending on who you're speaking to. All right? The red horse can be a missile. All right? Enter into the rock, hide thee in the dust for the fear of the Lord. Okay? Then shall they say, be, then they shall begin to say to the mountains, follow us. So they're going underground from radiation heat. All right? I have misspelled the Lord's voice, a type of double entendre. Voice equal radiation and radioactive weaponry, but it also equals fisherman, uh, prophets warning Babylon. Okay? So the Lord's voice can be weapons or it can be warning. Okay? So I'll show you the difference. Because the Lord always utters his voice before his army. Like a prophet is uttering to you right now, change your ways, change your ways. And then when a missile's flying, is uttering you, I'm, a, I'm about to blow your ass up. All right, Joel 2 and 11. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. Now watch the different interpretations. This is one version of his army. Okay? This is one version of the Lord's army. I'm going to show you another angle of the Lord's army. All right? That's a hell of an army, right? That's an army comprised of men and technology. But it's also... Uh, arrows flying or missiles flying is his army, right? They're radioactive. They're in the air. They're one of his armies, okay? Now you got the 144, the house of David, which is damn sure the Lord's army, right? Captain David and his boys or Gabriel and his boys, Gabriel in red right there. Then you got Michael in the air, right? You got the foot soldiers with Gabriel and you got the air force with Michael. You understand? All right? Flying rolls is a type of double entendre. Nuclear missiles and nuclear UFOs, right? Then I turn and lifted my eyes and looked and behold, a flying roll. So that can be a missile or it can be a UFO. I always tell you, understand the poetry of the scriptures. Nothing means one thing because God never does one thing at a time. It's multiple universes. His word goes across all universes at one time, right? We're, we're kind of like a in, inside an arcade, Okay. Mike, Gabriel, the 144, and all his angelic brothers are conquering nations and putting them under their feet for righteousness. Isaiah 59 and, and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When enemies shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. So the troops going to come in like a flood. So understand what the prophets saw. Understand. With you will I break the horse and his rider. With you will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. They didn't call it tank. They don't know what to call it tank. They were having visions. They call it a chariot. But, but prophecy is cyclical, just like um, your lifespans, just like reincarnation. Those who follow me in regen regeneration, reincarnation, right? So you got to take old prophecy and apply it to the new modern era, right? So a horse and his rider is just a, a guy in a, a jet fighter. You understand? Back then, a horse and a spear was big time technology, right? You're going to break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. You see what I'm saying? So think about what I'm showing you. Like, that's a shepherd and a flock. They didn't know what to call military, <laughs> a military back then. They just say, hey, man, the shepherd and his flock, you know. Okay, cool. All right, I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd and his flock. Now, what do you see? The, um, his yoke of oxen, right? And look at the shepherd and his flock. It's the, the general, the captain. Hey, go over there. Go here. God said, I'm going to deal with all you guys. I don't care if the names change. I'm going to do the same damn thing. As I always state, the real nuclear war is about Bantu nuclear genes. World War III already happened. Esau destroyed himself when he took Native Latinos, Native Americans, and Negroes into captivity. Bantu Israelites are radioactive. We are the Lord's weapons for war. All right? So us going to captivity just was just setting up the enemy. God never does one thing at a time. He puts you in a trick bag. So those who think they're taking advantage of David, you set yourself up for a numerical curse. You understand? And there's some people that get that. Zechariah 12, 2 through 3. Behold, I'll make Jerusalem a cup of trembling until the people round about. When they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day, I will make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. And all that burn themselves with it shall be cut in pieces. Okay, so we're going to turn you into a nuclear soldier, man. You see the big old X symbol on Juggernaut? Juggernaut, the radiation house of David. Come on, somebody. We're going to bring out the truth, man. I hope you guys share this and just master this stuff. All right? Juggernaut represents the house of David, the radiation god. I've been telling you, this is what they've been hiding from. Radiation is your friend. Zechariah 12 and 6, In that day I will make the governor of Judah like a fire pan in the woodpile, 
and like a fiery torch in the sheaves. They shall devour all the surrounding people on the right hand and on the left. But, but Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in their own place. So if Israel is done away with, you understand, like a lot of Christian people say, these prophecies wouldn't exist. Firestorm. I am the son of God, the boy King David. When God say he's going to destroy something, he's going to destroy it. First Kings 1 and 10. And Elijah answered, said to the captain of 50, if I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee in the 50. Did it happen? That's why Elijah is called the joker or the killer. There's always a joker before Batman. Get what I'm saying? Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 7. All right. And at the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run like uh, run to and fro like sparks amongst the rubble. Stubble, I'm sorry. So that's where all these comic book characters come from. All right. They know what's going to happen to Israel. You write down the flash, the mark of God champion. All right. The flash. What does he have on his chest? A mark of God. Lightning. Lighting inside his temple. As for me, I will behold the face of his righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I wait with thy likeness. So Silver Surfer has the body of God. That's why he's inside the whole little cosmic scene there. Silver, radiation sun person. Surfer. <laughs> it's that simple. Radiation is going to give you a new body. He's going to upgrade your technology. And if you don't think you're a robot, guess what? You live inside a computer. It's called a matrix. Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mine up with wings of eagle. And they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So if I'm telling you the truth, these comic book characters should match the numerical description I'm showing you. Okay? Quick. Son David. Ben David. Radiation silver. Quicksilver. Is he not the son of Magneto, which is Yeshua? David is Yeshua's son. Hawkman. Phoenix boy king. He's the secret holy grail. The birthright king of Israel. And that's why he had the scepter in Black Adam. Psalm 144, 1 through 2. My favorite. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hands to warm my fingers to fight. My goodness and my fortune, my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdued my people unto me. David was a bad boy. He didn't give a shit about nothing but the Lord. Kinshiro, Ruach judgment from the nation of Israel. And if you decode the colors blue and red, it comes out the natural born killer. I kid you not. Jeremiah 51 and 20, you are my battle axe and weapons of war. For with you will I break in nations, uh, break the nations in pieces. With you will I destroy the kingdoms. I wonder why Thor has an axe because he has an axe, X gene. He's an X. He's an axe gene. Thor, mark of God, son Ben David. And it, does he not have lightning like Lucifer? That's Gabriel. Psalm 18 and 33, he maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. Ain't no doubt in my mind that the incredible Hulk, David, banner of Israel, is King David. We all know that. For by you, I'm sorry, for by you can, um, can I run through a troop pretty much. By my God, I can leap over the wall. That's King David. That's the Hulk. First Chronicles 2 and 2, 22 and 8. But the word of the Lord came to me saying, you have shed too much blood and made great wars. You should not build my house for my name. All right. Too much blood on the earth for David. The hawk is King David. He's a beast. David is the Antichrist. Antichrist. He fights the Antichrist. He's God's beast. That's why he has an X on his chest. The incredible hawk. King David of Israel. He's angry. David mutated in battle. Okay. The incredible hawk. King David of Israel. King David. The Spirit of the Lord. Okay? That's the Spirit of the Lord. Teleportation verse. John 20 and 26. And after eight days, again, his disciples were within, the Thomas with them, and they came. Jesus, the doors being shut, stood in the midst and said, Peace be. How did Jesus get in the house? Notice the devil right there has kids. I told you David was what? The angel on the left side. He does the dirty work. The devil has two kids, which symbolize he's a twin Gemini with kids. I just told you Killmonger was a twin. Nightcrawler, bride of Yeshua, Messiah has come. He's the hidden indigo child. We just said Killmonger was the indigo child. The power of God, it was radioactive technology, new covenant, the ark, body, or third temple. All right? Jeremiah 31, 33. But this shall be the covenant that I make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my law radiation in their inward parts and write in their hearts, and they will, and I will be their God. And they should be my people. All right. Revelation 11 and 19. And the temple of the Lord was open in heaven. And there was a scene in his temple of the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings. Okay. That's where you get the flash symbol from. And you get Thor symbol from. Okay. 
<clears throat> so these comic books are all based on radiation uh, prophets of the Bible. So God's Ark is the black woman's womb, it's King David, it's the Ark of the Covenant, it's anything radioactive. And there were many arcs, you know, Egypt had arcs. The black Adam, King David, the black Adam, King David becomes the black Adam. It don't get no simpler than that. Now you see why the war is picking them. They got to group their weapons together. Jeremiah 5 and 23. All right. So what I'm showing you with this is that notice the second verse, wisdom of Solomon 5 and 17. The creature, he calls man his creature. Because God's on a whole nother level. He's going to use his creatures for war. Now let's decode the Dragon Ball Z if you think I'm joking. All right. So mankind in itself is, is you have no position to be arrogant. That's why Israel should never attack the Gentile. Because the gods look at Israel like a subspecies. <laughs> Goku, Gabriel, the prince. I just told you. Now, what do you see? On Frieza, he's a serpent seed. He has a tail. Revelation 10, 1 through 2. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head. And his face was that it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book and opened it. And he said... And he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth. He's a hybrid. He's in the sea, space, DNA, and earth. Man's DNA. Uh, Zechariah 4 and 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. So the Lord of hosts is going to give you radiation. All right. And Storm was doubling as uh, Gabriel. That's why she had her hand raised. She was reading the law. Storm, bride of God, the Starlink. The Starlink is the Negro woman. She's the ex carrier for the Phoenix King line of Jesus, who is King David. <laughs> it don't get no simpler, man. Okay, Lightning Storm. This is your inheritance, you radioactive Negroes and David. It's going to come from your woman. All right, Job 3. For thou shalt be in a league with stones of the field, the ability to control nature, and the beast of the field. Uh, you're going to be able to speak to animals and everybody going to have different powers based on your DNA. Okay. It's going to be cool to see. Okay. Just keep your temple clean. All right. Communicate with animals, control nature, control weather. Hey, God got blessings, man. We inside of his story. Aquaman. He's a God and a human being. All right. Aquaman. All right. Ezekiel 9 and 1, he cried in my ears with a loud voice saying, cause them to have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in hand. So the joker is crazy because he had voices in his head, but God is talking to his penal gland. Okay, that's David. The joker is King David. Hands down. Hands down. He's the walking phoenix or the walking phoenix. All right, that's David. And that's why you see uh, in the movie Venom, he was in a crazy house too. See, I'm Joker, King David. All right? Venom was in a crazy house, right? So that's one way they want to get your genes too. They want to put you in a crazy house and extract your ass. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing your mind. All right? That ye may prove what is good and accept the perfect will of God. The all spark. Optimus Prime. Right? See that all spark? He's being transformed. Literally. All spark. Show me David. Look at the numerical matches. If you think I'm lying about what I'm showing you, it's like winning a damn lottery 18 times over. And we know that Optimus Prime was a grill warrior. Right? The all spark. The Transformers. Ben David, the synonym of David. More than meets the eyes. What? More than meets the eye. The return of the king or the sin of the David. I might have put a misprint down there, but there it is. Robots in disguise. Begotten son of Christ. Messiah looking up. The ex-king's radiation gene. Israelite radiation gods. Black Jews absorb radiation. The radiation radioactive covenant. And that's a um, Baluba mask, I believe. From the Baluba tribe. It's all Bantu, man. Bantus are radioactive. I repeat. Okay, that's what the line is. The black radiation transformers, Prince David, Mary Magdalene, the rose and the crown, Holy Grail, radiation gods of the Bible, Melchizedek, high priest, Phoenix priesthood, transformers, resurrection, Christ and their God. Come on, somebody. Robot, Ephraim, King's coin, chosen king is Issachar. He's the robot. 
And that's why he had the little Mexican robots in one of the Transformers. I forgot which one it was. Robot E from the leader of the coins in Issachar. All right? And that can be symbolic. All right? The Grail Warriors. All right? You got to protect your bloodline and your woman. All right? I write it again. Made a faux pas. Put it twice. Oh, well. Mm. The purple boy holding box. Oh, yeah. That was that, that lets you know that the boy in the mid, The radiation bumblebee, the holy bloodline. Holy Grail. All right? So those who are, who are depicted to be evil are actually the ones that are looking out for the bloodline. Phoenix King David, the shiny ones, the Bumblebee Grail. Bumblebee Grail, the black box. You put black for the boy in box. It gives you the answer to who they're talking about. Transformers, Terminator. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see Optimus Prime. I just told you, Radiation Transformers... Resurrection Day, receive my bloodline inheritance. It's written in the stars. My fathers were Jesus and David. What? What? It can be symbolic, but it can be literal. The Terminator, son of David, the radiation angel is the 10 Phoenix, this guy. Didn't Arnold Schwarzenegger have a Latino kid? You know, they put Mexican and Latinos together. They don't care how to study us. But what does it go down to? Latino in Mexico. You write it again, it goes down to Mexico again. Okay. Wasn't uh, Gabriel Luna the first Mexican Terminator? They're talking about Gabriel, people. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the sun, is sending a rainbow sword. Revelation 5 and 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and loosen the seven seals. The seven seals were the rainbow seals. All right. Metaphorically. Can you explain what it is? It's the glory of God. Voltron. Nuclear war with the bloodline of David. Voltron. Voltron. Blood of King David. They know who I am. Blood of Christ. I'm the purple prince. Holy Grail David. And the sword is in what? I believe the sword on Voltron is in the red robot. Yep, it sure is. Red is King David. The red King David. For the word of God is quick. And powerful and sharpening two edged sword, piercing even the dividing a son of soul and spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and the discern of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Christ equals the word, equals pure radiation. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Radiation, radiation, radiation. This is the mystery of the scriptures. Time travel, war, radiation. All right? Astro theology, the return of the sun king, return of the sun king, return of the lion king. All right, the sun looks like the lion when it flares, and that's how you know God is coming back. Son of God equals son of God. Then spake Yeshua again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. All right, he was literally the light of the world, he's represented by the sun. Jeremiah 26, then I say, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more his name. But his words were like fire burning shut up in my bones. That's my mother's favorite scripture. Radiation literally feels like your body's on fire. Believe me when I tell you. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you. But it's best to cleanse your body out best you can. The sun's light gives you a crown of life. The sun's crown of eternal life. Right? So your crown comes through nature. Jeremiah 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endure temptation. For when he is tired, when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life. So you're not supposed to hide. It's time to come out, right? Because you got to be tried until death. Some going to make it, some going to not. It's the ultimate test. Revelation 11, 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life came to them, entered them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and you men of Israel. I will help thee, say the Lord, thy redeemer, holy Israel. I'll make thee a new sharp, threshing instrument, having teeth. So the comic book character is based off the scriptures, man. You know? And Wolverine looked just like the, the seraphim, you know? And you know the incredible, incredible Hawk is nuclear, right? He transformed when he's hit. So um, a lot of people are always saying, oh, yeah, you know, the Bible is this. Well, why are they paying so much attention to the damn Bible if it's this or that? Wolverine, the superhuman power boy, King David. All right? I will send for fishes, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. Arise and thresh, O door of Zion, or make thee thine horn like iron, or make thy horn iron. i make thee hooves like brass, right? Iron Brass, Iron Man. Okay, and if you um, write down Tony, it comes out to protect her. And then 1010 King David, you write out Tony Stark's name. And you know, Bishop is actually uh, King David, or Gabriel the Time Traveler. He's the X-Man. 
He has a damn purple X on his shoulder. Okay? So we don't have to reach. They put it right in your face. Purple X-Man. Holy Grail King David. Black X-Man. <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, it's just common sense, people. And notice he's next to a chair because he's the new king. He's the heir. Bishop. I'm the king. Archangel. Okay? So everything in the picture is actually a numerical code. Revelation 19 and 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no man knew but himself. So that's Bishop. That's a different version of his cartoon. X on his hand, red eyes. Okay? He looks just like the picture of Jesus. Philippians 3 and 21. Who shall change our vile body that may fashion like unto his glorious body according to the work, working whereby he is even uh, able to subdue all things under him. That's Magneto. He can control nature. Okay? That's Yeshua. Okay? So God's going to give his ro favorite robots a DNA upgrade. Okay? Talking about nanotechnology, who did it first? God did. Magneto, hidden indigo child, the Lamb of God. Magneto. So that will be Silver Surfer. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Quicksilver, Magneto's son. You see, we sh I showed you this, but I'll show you again. You see? And if you look at the symbolisms in the, uh, the Commonwealth picture, they match all the symbolisms of Sumeria, Anunnaki. I told you that Sumerian tablets, a picture of King Michael, also stated Black Panther is about King Michael and Prince Gabriel. Okay? So I showed this earlier, but I'm showing you again because it's further in the video. It's a rough video, but I have to bang one out. Order Mercurial Radiation uh, Priest deals with mankind via the penal gland. Mankind is a sexy way of saying God's robots, his toys. Adam and Eve equal the first self-replicating robots. Robots in disguise, transformers. All right, the Bible is... <laughs> This is the most animated book, the most used book in all of our everyday lives, man. You just don't even know it. It's coded. Because if somebody tells you the truth, it's a vibration that can change things. See, Ruach Kodash is the illumination of the penal gland. And that's why you hear about the mark going in the forehead. The Phoenix X Holy Grail uh, lets you know that Christ is about to return. He's the Phoenix X. You see the Phoenix over the girl, the Grail, the X. Apkalu Cohen. That's an Apkalu, a black angel. Okay? King David's purple prince. He has the Cohen gene. That's the gene that the gods gave to Israel. The Cohen or the Cohen, the penal gland. All right? That's a gift. Apkalu Cohen. The Christ bloodline King David. Apkalu Phoenix. You see how you just, just keep it simple. King David. Apkalu Phoenix. Who has it? King David has it. Ap Cohen, Cohen, Cohen. It's a coin gene, but it looked like a cone, and they call it the coin. It's still going to point to who King David is. All right, we live um, in a numerical terrarium. Boy King David, coin, coin, coin. All right, the Melchizedek King David. That's it. That's what the Phoenix priesthood is. They're the order of what? Melchizedek. Shepherd, boy King David. You're going to keep getting the same answer, man. Everything is coded. All right, you write down Phoenix arm. You see how the Phoenix has an arm out? It's going to point right to David, the shepherd David, because that's how everything is set up. God does it like that. Denver Airport Mirror, Holy Grail, Phoenix coin shepherds. So uh, the order of Melchizedek makes sure that the cone or the penal gland is safe. Phoenix King David, uh, the radiation sun. Phoenix arm, king, queen, prince. That's David. He's all three. He's a king, he's a queen, and he's a prince forever. Phoenix radiation points right to who has it. Points right to who has a penal gland. Or the horn. Or the trumpet. Phoenix arm, radiation, points right to who has it. Okay, so um, if I knew your name, I use your name. Okay, Phoenix arm, king, queen, prince. Phoenix arm. No matter how you write it, the Melchizedek priesthood teaches God's pure language. Math. They teach God's pure language, all right? Math. There's no good or bad with God. Those are social constructs to, to teach mankind. So Christ is magnetism, God is radiation, David is electricity. You see what I'm saying? Golden frequency, love frequency. That's how God made the universe with sound and numbers, all right? The Lamb of God and David is the man of sin, right? Christ the perfect Lamb. Man is the, and David is the guy who just can't get it right. Okay, so he used good and bad to teach man. David was just a bad guy who God made a good guy. All right? It's showing you a duality. All right? That's what Gemini represents. It represents duality. It represents God's two sons. It represents balance. All right? And we know that the order of Illuminati is really the illuminated 
in the Bible. The Messiah, David, looking up the shiny ones. All right. The Phoenix Order of the Illuminati, the reincarnation of King David, the Fibonacci Crown, Lost Prince, Denver Airport. Okay, like I told you, the Phoenix Priesthood, they deal with the Fibonacci, beginning of the end. The boy who's king, he's the Antichrist. He's the anti. He's the opposite of Christ. He's the uh, Antichrist Moshiach. That's how you know I'm telling the truth. So there's many Antichrists, like Christ said. Some work for Christ. <laughs> king David is the left hand of God. That's why the left hand on the Mexican is touching the Negro. The sword of God, he's the anti-antichrist. The corn gene king is the left hand of God. Come on, somebody. God, God used killers. The real King David is the left hand of God. The corn king is the left hand of God. David was the killer. Elijah was the killer. Whoever comes before Christ is his killer. He sends a sword. The second David is the antichrist messiah in the Denver airport painting. The Denver murals. The sacred bloodlines with the purple prince. Yahuwah's son. Okay? God's ways are above yours. He uses good and bad. The man of sin is this guy. He's purple gold. He's the king of Israel. It's different levels of the man of sin. That's why I say no prophecy is one thing. You know, Christianity makes my stomach hurt. The black king David is in purple and gold. He's the man of sin. How is king David the man of sin? Figure that out. The antichrist, star of David. Son of David. See how it says the anti-antichrist? Okay, the anti-antichrist is the leader of God's chosen ones. He's David. He's the hell boy, grail boy. He's the killmonger, see him pose like hell boy. He's the star David, the true holy grail. He's God's favorite killer. King David is God's chosen man of sin, the Joker. Everyone's favorite villain. I should have put in, what are all these damn misspellings? I shouldn't have been Russian. Okay, as you can see, they got the number two on the side of uh, killmonger's head because he's the twin of Christ. He's Gabriel, the commander, the captain. All right? He's the jaguar. A jaguar is a, 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 a animal in the Americas. Okay? Michael Jordan, his name, the jaguar, holy grail, phoenix king, the line of Jesus. Blue, yellow, black king David, king of Israel. All right, so Namor and get, um, Killmonger were pretty much the same. Revelation 21 16. All right? Then we're after a jaguar king. Revelation Chapter 22. It's all the same, man. It's all the same. Jaguar King is the shepherd David. Gabriel is David. Trumpet Gabriel is David. Killmonger, okay? Black Adam, son of David. The Jaguar, all right? It's just his reincarnations. That's all. The Jaguar King. The line of Jesus. <laughs> okay? Gabe, you see the sword in his hand? Christ's going to send a sword. He's a Templar. He protects the temple. He represents the third temple. He's the jaguar. He's the good bad guy. He's the son of Jacques. He's the son of Jack. Okay? Moolah. All right. Um, they're showing you that he's the he's the king of the Illuminati. All right? The king of the Illuminati is king of the order of Melchizedek. God does everything first. Then man takes it. The Louvre Magdalene Pyramid, Denver's Last Supper mural, the Denver Airport Jaguar King, the purple boy holding a hold box, purple prince holding a box. Messiah, Jesus, Mary Magdalene, the Holy Grail, the Louvre Magdalene Pyramid. All right, now Namor also was an Antichrist figure. That's why everybody loved him. Everybody loves the good bad guy. Lost Mexican, line of Jesus. Notice how in the first Terminator, we were scared of the Terminator. By the end of the series, he, he worked for the good guys, the Terminator. Lost Mexicans, Destiny is to be in the line of Jesus. So Namor and Killmonger are just two different aspects of the same person. The Mayan calendar. I'm a radioactive phoenix, a black radiation transformer, root of David, the Revelation 10 angel. That's Namor. That's why he had wings on his ankles. He's a messenger angel, Gabriel. Latin King Gabriel, blue blood, purple. Latin King Gabriel, he's the left hand of God. He takes the left path. Okay, God don't see good and evil. He sees a necessary situation to mature your spirit. All right, Latin King Grill is the two, uh, true king of Wakanda. Wakanda forever, Latin King Grill, the boy king. All right, left hand of God, Killmonger is this guy. King of Wakanda, the left hand of God. Black Adam and Killmonger, put all the names together, they point right to the Holy Grail. Because the Holy Grail is the man of sin, the good guy who's bad. Did you not see Black Adam? The Holy Grail, he has the scepter. That's God's boy. 
That's your son you make take out the garbage who likes to do it because he needs a couple dollars. <laughs> and you got the other son who just don't like to get his hands dirty. Black Shazam is the prophecy of King David. Okay? The phoenix is the anti-antichrist, man of sin, rock's garbage man. Rock is Christ, the rock, Christ. So that's David. You put phoenix, Gemini, scepter. Messiah, David, looking up, is the purple prince. Okay, he's the phoenix, Gemini, scepter. Look at the picture. It looks just like the Denver murals. Royal phoenix is the positive King David. If the phoenix is the antichrist on the good side, it just said he's the positive King David. Phoenix, man of sin. I am the phoenix, <laughs> okay? That's what it is, man, okay? It's a mystery of the scriptures. Remember that man of sin had to be revealed. A lot of them. See, the glory of God reveals the man of sin, whether he's the bad man of sin, Esau, or he's David, the man of sin. He's the lost ex-prince, the line of Christ. So Dwayne Rock Johnson is truly represented or representing this boy right here. All right, he's the true heir David. He's the firstborn servant David, okay? All right? He's the chosen King David. All right. All right. Check check me out on Patreon too. I got a little breakdowns. Phoenix King David. Right. So the Rock represents all this, and that's why you're seeing the symbolism. See, the Rock has a lot going on. He's God's killer, so he has a lot on his mind. Cause you got to take out a lot of people. You got to have blood up to the ankles, right? To the the horse's bride. So you see how many matches? Because the Rock is truly Yahweh's snake, King David. He's snake eyes. The black rose snake eyes is king. He's the black rose. He's the black rose. He's the black snake. He's the Economist Magazine serpent king. The prophesied king. You need a warrior to fight, right? The phoenix prince is the ex-prince looking up. The king of the serpent seed. All right? The corn joker, the holy grail. Order of what? Richest man on earth. So Christ got to come to snatch a lot of crowns because this boy ain't got his money yet. He's the blue boy king with the shy. He's the joker. That's why he's dressed like a, a joker. Killmonger's the purple prince or the purple joker. You see? Joker, prince, Killmonger's the holy grail lost Mexican boy. True prophet of God. Now, you telling me God thinks a killer is a prophet? Yes, he is. When you prophesy for God, you just do a favor for God. The Louvre David is the joker prince David, God's son. Holy Grail, Holy Royalty, Joker King David. All right, so we don't need to guess. We get the numbers. The purple clown is the holy blood of Christ. The purple clown, Prince. Joker King David is the killing name. What does it say? The killing joke. He's the Holy Grail. All right, so Joker King David, the Holy Grail, Magdalene Holy Grail, Fibonacci. See that? Fibonacci goes to David. Now watch this. Look at the picture. Good. He's sitting on the cross. Sitting on the cross and his foot is next to what appears to be a rose or a circle. That's a Fibonacci sequence. Cross. You see our Ark Asylum. He's crazy. Just like they did Venom in the movie. Okay. Just like they did Killmonger. They just write him off. Hey, he's crazy. He ain't know what he's talking about. Listen. The Fibonacci sequence. The 1.618 represents God. This 0.618 represents God's son. But he also could be 1.618 because that's his gene pool. He's a Fibonacci king. Okay, so the king of Israel is determined by his bloodline. All right, so the Joker is under Batman, the purple Fibonacci prince. Who's my twin flame? It's the Joker. All right, he's a Fibonacci prince. So the Holy Grail of black man goes right down to um, the corn Joker gene. He's the corn Joker. The gene bounces around. All right, you don't know where it's going to land. It's, God, it's up to God. See how it goes to Prince Roger Nelson? He's holding a J guitar. Why so serious? It's supernatural power coming. But watch this. It's the rise of the phoenix. What's the, the joker's name? Huh? Rise of radiation. It's going to bring supernatural power to the Negroes. Why is it a joke? Because you took these Negroes into captivity, dodo. Denver phoenix, rise of the phoenix. The Denver phoenix comes out to rise of the phoenix, the penal gland. King David is a walking phoenix. That's why his name was Joaquin Phoenix. He's a true king. Prince, 1010, Magdalene, Fibonacci. Okay? Now, I told you when I talk about David, I'm talking about the 144. The Dark Knight Templar is the Holy Bloodline, Holy Grail King. All right? King David is an inversion of Christ. That's what I like to say. 
So if you look at the picture, they're kind of looking at each other. The one thing that differs between Batman and Joker, Joker leaves his mask on, Batman takes his off. The white mask, the soul of Mary Magdalene, Wakanda forever. All movies I like because, hey, man, it's about that Christ bloodline, man. You know, son of David, the soul of Mary. You know, and women were really uh, um, have been oppressed, man, inside of religion. The Economist Magazine, The Prince, Lucifer's Gabriel, The Lost Boy King. King David's Purple Prince, Mastermind Lucifer, King David. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the grateful day of the Lord. I have sent my angel to testify to you. Elijah is Gabriel. Elijah is David. Are you following me? They're the same, man. All right. Elijah is the Prince Joseph in Egypt or Babylon. God used the same angels, a.k.a. programs. He just puts them in different bodies. That's all an angel is, is a zero one program. <laughs> That's it, man. You're just a program. If you're not a computer, how, how can he program you or upgrade you with your 144 body through radiation, which is wireless charging? Gabriel the Joker is this guy. It's this, it's this guy right here. The Lucifer Archangel Gabriel, the God that can kill Satan, is David, the boy king. Gabriel, David, Fibonacci Grill, Magdalene Holy Grill is the true Lucifer. The light bearer, the information giver to his people. I am the Joker, the Phoenix coin King David. I'm the Prince. I am the Joker, Phoenix coin David, lost Prince David, the chosen of God. Radiation back, divine right to rule, the Christ bloodline. So, you know, you just got to hoax the Joker to let him know who he is. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't nothing personal. It's all fun and games. It's just out of levity. You know, but yeah, it was cool. It sharpens you. All right. So you hoax the real king because it's part of his just, I guess, learning process. I don't know. I am the joke of the real King David, right? It's a hoax. All right. children of Israel, I love you guys so much. Hey, man, it's been a while. I'm rusty, but hey, it's out of my heart. All right. So take what you can. I love you guys so much. See you in the kingdom. Peace.